Hey guys, welcome back. More and more cables are beginning to appear all over Fortnite. And it seems Midas' plans to bring Doomsday to our Fortnite island are about to go live. So... I wanted to keep us all up to date on what is going on inside Season 2's storyline, as well as revealing everything to do with the story that is going to be happening in Season 3. Guys, this is everything you need to know to do with the Fortnite storyline. So guys, let's not waste any more time. Let's do this. Okay, this video is going to be an educational video. Honestly, it is. Hey, you don't know the next time you're going to get a Fortnite question in your exams. So I, I don't know. You, you should probably watch this video because you want to get all the questions right in your exams, huh? huh? With season three being so close and with season two storyline beginning to come to its conclusion, I thought it would be really worth our time just to make sure that we all understand the storyline. Because I don't know about you, but I think the doomsday device is going to be coming into question quite a lot in the future and you guys are gonna need to know about it but before we get into that i'm gonna quickly take a guy out just to show you it is battle royale and then i'm not completely garbage at the game oh it's as easy as that turns out i'm pretty good at this game First, before we can understand the future of season three and what will be happening in the storyline, let's just understand season two. It all started with Ultra vs. Ego. Two factional groups had appeared on our chapter two island and seemed to be preparing for some kind of fight. The preparations for their fights began in season one on our chapter two island, and then came season two of chapter two. Oh, hold on, boys. <laughs> Two seconds. Ow! Boom, boom, boom! This might happen once or twice, okay? It might happen. Alter was owned by the Chaos Agents, and Ego seemed to have no leader at the time. The Alter group became the Shadow Agency, being led by the Chaos Agent. But the Ego group had to form their own agency. They had to find a new leader who was going to lead them to victory. And of course, the Ego group did just that. They found this character, Midas, and they established a new agency called the Ghost Agency. And of course, bringing forth the new location, the agency. That, that is the agency over there. I know it, it, it's, it's low resolution right now. I don't know what's going on. Maybe another call to the epic hotline will sort that out. I don't know. I don't know. Midas and the ghost agency is now ready to fight the chaos agent and the shadow agency. Which of course is why we're having all of these spy games, game modes, and all these secret missions trying to find intel on each of the agencies. Of course, a secret side note. Some of the characters in our Fortnite game have been agents this whole time. You guys know Lynx? You know links she was an agent the whole time since the very first day that she was introduced into fortnite yo and even peely our beloved peely was a secret agent this whole time Oh, surprise! He didn't see it coming. He could never see it coming. With Midas now established in the agency, the whole island goes to war. You guys noticed how some of the season two locations slowly changed and other agencies started to take over? Like the grotto became a part of the shadow agency. The rig also became a part of the shadow agency. But some locations, like the shark, went over to the ghost agency. You notice the way the flags changed and the bosses inside changed as well they were fighting over land this whole time Oh, much like me and this guy. We're fine for the same land that we're standing on. This agency ain't big enough for the two of us. Boy! I'm gonna never stop until the agency is mine! Oh, no. What the? Where did he come from? Whose team is he on? I mean, literally, he's wearing a white jersey. I don't follow soccer or sports that much. Whose team is he on? <laughs> but not always as clear cut to understand as you might think. Because Midas here had a secret plan. A secret weapon. Dun, dun, dun. Yo, legendary rocket launcher. It looks like Midas really did have a secret weapon. Yo. <laughs> 
Midas' secret weapon was not the rocket launcher, but gosh, it felt like it. Midas' secret weapon is the doomsday device. A device is being built underneath the agency, which we know is called the doomsday device. We know this from all the leaks that have been revealed in the game's files. And we know, of course, that it's underneath the agency because we can see it in Midas' secret underground room in the battle pass. Not only this, Midas also builds the doomsday hatches, which are these mysterious hatches that are surrounding the agency right now. We don't quite yet know what the doomsday machine is going to do, but we have some pretty good ideas, which we will get onto shortly. I'm just healing, so uh, bear with me. <laughs> now, we ourselves might not know what the doomsday device is going to do, but some of the agents in the game actually did. Players like Lynx and Peely, the secret agents, actually found out what the doomsday bunker was going to do. So why don't we ask them, right? Why don't they reveal the secrets to us? Well, of course, they can't because they're no longer with us. Both Peely, Lynx, and many other characters have been turned to gold. And we can see this in the battle pass room for Midas. He's taken these characters out, turned them into gold, taken their masks, and disposed of them. Hey, Midas is not looking like such a good guy right now, huh? And of course, all of this takes us up to today, where now even more players are reporting seeing brand new cables appearing all in their lobby. It looks like Midas is really in the process of powering up his doomsday device. And we might literally be days away from finding out what is going to happen. And yes, I also do have two rocket launchers. And yes, I'm also excited to see what's going to happen this round. The question is, what happens next? What is about to go down in season three? What is the storyline? Now, many creators online will tell you we don't actually know what's about to go down in season three. But... I think that is wrong because I know someone who does know what is going down. And that person is me. Um, oh, uh, sorry. I was, I, was, I was just looking at my my um, my phone here. I'm going to be a moment. So, um, I don't know. Just entertain yourself. Uh, here's a fight sequence. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, um, we got three rocket launches now. I guess we'll just try and calm down for a bit. <laughs> so what happens now? How do we know what is coming in season three? Well, it's pretty simple. We have already seen some pretty crazy leaks about season three. So let me tell you exactly what is going down in the storyline. Leakers have revealed that in season three, a flood is coming. Water is going to be a main part of the new season's theme and a part of the storyline. Leakers have revealed it in the game's files and we all know that it's going to be true. And of course, we've always known this to be true because we saw that Easter egg that Epic Games left us with a sign in the ground saying Noah, which is a reference to the story of Noah's Ark, which saw a giant flood destroy the world. And the only way people could survive would be through a giant boat. It's a story about a flood, okay? So how does Midas and the Doomsday Device play into all of this? Well, let me tell you, there is suspicion online that the Doomsday Device is going to be able to change the weather. A book has been found in-game right now, which players believe is a book written by Midas. It shows what seems to be his doomsday device, and then a logo of what seems to be some kind of storm. This image has proven to not be the ghost agency logo, as it doesn't look the same. Similar, but not the same. Players online have discussed saying that this is a thunderstorm, and it reveals to us that Midas has some kind of plans to bring a thunderstorm to the game? <gasps> Yo, who said more than one rocket launcher was too much? The doomsday device seems to be- <gasps> Oh, someone's still on me. Leave me alone, bro. Leave me alone. Oh my goodness. Yo, we were the last two guys. I had no idea. I was so busy talking about the doomsday device and, and, and a storm coming. I didn't realize. Yo, this is the face of someone who doesn't care that there's a storm coming to Fortnite, who doesn't care that a flood is about to wipe out his entire map, and there's some evil maniacal genius on our server building some kind of device that is going to destroy everything. This guy doesn't seem to care. <laughs> 
<laughs> what a guy, right? Why is Midas trying to build this destructive doomsday device? Well, it might be because the Chaos Agent and the Shadow Agency seem to be winning in our Fortnite island. They've taken over more locations than the Ghost Agency. So maybe Midas is going to use the power of a storm to bring a flood to destroy our island and stop the Chaos Agent. He is going to stop the Shadow Agency when a new storyline will begin for season three. You guys gotta remember, each season storyline is very different from the seasons before, which will probably mean in season three, Midas might not exist, the Chaos Agent will be no more, and all these agencies will be wiped away under the flood, ready for a new storyline to appear in-game. And what that storyline will be, well, we don't exactly know, but we do know how we're gonna get through season two, we know how season three is gonna begin, and a fresh start in a flooded, Fortnite Island seems to be awaiting us in season three. Guys, if you did enjoy this video and you want to support the channel, you